Hello, and welcome to today's video, where we're discussing why U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. The U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan marks the end of America's longest war, and it has caused mixed reactions from all around the world. Some are worried about what will happen in Afghanistan after the withdrawal, while others believe it has been a long time coming. Let's dive deeper and analyze the reasons behind this decision. The decision to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan was based on a number of factors, including Achieving the original mission The U.S. military's original mission in Afghanistan was to disrupt and defeat al-Qaeda, which was responsible for the nine elephants' attacks. With the killing of al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden in 2011 and the weakening of the group, the U.S. felt that its primary objective had been achieved. Cost of the war The war in Afghanistan has been the longest in U.S. history and has cost over $2 trillion. With the U.S. facing economic challenges and competing priorities, there was a growing sentiment that the cost of the war was unsustainable. Public opinion The war in Afghanistan has been increasingly unpopular among the U.S. public. Opinion polls consistently showed that a majority of Americans believed the war was not worth fighting. Afghan Security Forces The U.S. has spent years training and equipping Afghan security forces to take over security responsibilities in the country. While progress has been made, there are still concerns about the capacity and effectiveness of these forces. Negotiations with the Taliban The U.S. has been engaged in peace negotiations with the Taliban, the main insurgent group in Afghanistan, in an effort to end the conflict. The withdrawal of U.S. troops is seen as a way to incentivize the Taliban to negotiate in good faith. War fatigue The U.S. invasion of Afghanistan back in 2001 came in response to the nine elephants terrorist attacks. The initial goal was to eliminate al-Qaeda and the Taliban from Afghanistan. However, it has been 20 long years since the invasion, and the U.S. has spent trillions of dollars in the war, with little or no success. War fatigue has set in and the people of the U.S. are tired of fighting a seemingly endless war. Shifting Priorities Another reason for the withdrawal is shifting priorities. The world has changed a lot since the events of 9 elephants. Global leaders are more focused on new threats like cybersecurity, advances in technology, global pandemics, and climate change. It's time to shift resources and focus on new and upcoming threats, rather than continuing to pour money into a 20-year-old war that has lost its relevance. No clear end game. The U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan doesn't come at the end of a clean victory, unfortunately. There's no clear end game, and the outcomes are uncertain. The U.S. hasn't achieved its original goals in Afghanistan, and the country's security situation is still unstable. Rather than continuing to pour resources into a situation with no clear outcome, the U.S. has decided to withdraw, cutting its losses. Political pressure. The final reason for the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan is political pressure. The U.S. President, Joe Biden, promised during his presidential campaign that he would bring the truth home, and he's fulfilling that promise. The American people and the international community also want to see the end of this war, and the pressure has been mounting for a long time. In conclusion, there are several reasons behind the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, including war fatigue, shifting priorities, no clear endgame, and political pressure. The U.S. has spent trillions of dollars in a 20-year-old war that hasn't achieved its original goals. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.